All right, Yamaha Amorphous 400 swap. This is the first part of the video. You see how I put it up, right? I use the jack stands and that long ass pipe. Obviously remove all your plastics first, but that's a way you could put it up by yourself. You know what I mean? Just hold it by the handlebar, lift it, get it off the ground. I had to add some blocks. Anyway, first things first, um, I drained all the coolant. So, you know, your coolant hoses. Bam, bam. All right, unplug your harness. Just go easy with it. A bunch of different plugs. Try to keep an eye on everything. Nothing's the same, so you know, it only goes in one spot. All right, uh, there was a T15 holding on the tr the bolts for the throttle linkage. Uh, well, they're in the other throttle body. But those bolts, there we go. Those are a T15 I used. That's now, it's an Allen key, but I was able to use a T15. Anyway, 10 millimeter for the uh, starter wire bolts, 10 millimeter for the ground bolts, Allen key for the throttle body. Not sure what that is, what size it is, but I needed that to remove that so I could take the wires off of the starter. Um, 14 for the back bolts that hold the swing arm, uh, the brake assembly on. Uh, seven, eight, I used on that axle nut. All right, obviously disconnect the battery before you do anything. Um, I'm about to uh, switch out the rear axle will be next, so I guess I gotta pull off the clutch variator. Um, the wire. Just be careful, like check out your new engine, see what it comes with. You know, gently disconnect all the plugs. My new engine comes with the comes with the matching plug. Off the, I guess the, what would you call it, a uh, stator? You know. And uh, that's it, part one so far. So far so good. Um, I still gotta disconnect the fuel line. That's about it.